Uncle Bob, I'm gonna watch some TV! Okay, just leave me alone! <laughs> this, I am the Weather Lady, and this is the Weather Channel, and I am forecasting from Wisconsin. Ew, weather. Uh, uh, this is the Fighting Channel, and it looks like I'm winning. Uh, uh, ew, fighting. SpongeBob SquarePants. My name is SpongeBob. Uh-huh, yes. Ew, SpongeBob. It's Wake Up Marie. It's five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> she's on, she's on, she's on. She's on, she's on, she's on. Da 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 da. Okay, seriously, that isn't working out for me. Can we change that a little? Plus, you're like, you were supposed to be here five seconds ago, and you were supposed to wear that yellow sundress because everything else makes you look boxy. You know, get in there. Katie has having a tantrum tantrum. We need to call our psychiatrist quickly. Assistance! Yes, Marie. Could you call Katie a psychiatrist? Sure, just give me your phone. Here you go. Hello, Dr. Chocolate. This is not Dr. Chocolate. Who are you? Really, I don't know you. Here. It wasn't Dr. Chocolate. Okay, I'll call him. It's ringing. Hello, Dr. Chocolate. Yes. Katie F needs to see you again. Okay, he said he'll meet with her tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Anyway, this is Wake Up Marie, so you guys better be waking up because you're the meet Marie. I wake up, it's Marie. Now let's say hi to my cats, Katie F, and me, and the camera crew. Okay, and KDF is KDL is not here today. I am sorry, but I did not fire her, so it's not what you think. Although I wish I could. And she's on her Uncle Bob's farm in Wisconsin. She'll be back in a week or so. I feel bad for her. Not really. Okay, we have a special segment, and this one is quails. This week we hatched quails in our classroom, and so now we get to hold them play with them while we learn facts about them. Isn't it wonderful? I heard you're hatching baby girls. I'm gonna hear as soon as I can. Can I hold them? Oh, please, please. Yeah, we all get to. Let me throw my lunch back. Dang it, she's back. Okay, oh, let's go on a road trip to see the quails. We're going on a road trip. We're going on a road trip. We're going on a road trip. This is the quail cage. There's about 14 of them in there. Let's each catch one. Come here, little quailies. Come, come here. Come on. These are our quails. I don't know what this one's name is, though. I don't know what this one's name is, either. Let's go back. No. Okay, so let's sit down and tell some facts about them. We're getting home. Come. Katie He ran away from me. Okay. Well, these are the quails. See, they're so cute. Hi, little. Hi, little buddy. Uh, uh, Mine's uh. in my lap now. Do you know it takes to run away this time? Do you know it takes 17 oh. to 18 days for quails to hatch? Uh, I got nothing. Do you know that Japanese quails have to stay in their incubator and it's Ow. about 95 percent humidity in there? Oh, duh! I thought you said Japan quails. Japanese quails um, have to stand in egg turner for 14 days, and they have to be turned five to six times a day, or they'll stick to their shell and die. And their incubator is 99 degrees to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot in there. Must be hot. On the 14th day, they have to be taken out of their egg turner and back into their incubator. tooth on the edge Beautiful. of their beak that's called an egg tooth and they help it helps them chip away at the shell so they can hatch. See? But it eventually falls off. So do you got let's go put them back in so we can show you a, a slideshow of the growth of a chick. Do you guys want to see it? Well I don't care if you don't because I'm doing it anyway. This is the growth of the chick slideshow. On day one, the chick starts off as a tiny germ spot. 
Day three. The body is shaped like a backwards question mark surrounded by blood vessels in the yolk sac. The head and heart begin to form. Day five. The beak begins to form. The brain is present but without the skull. The, the eyes have forms but without eyelids. Leg and wing buds are present. All parts of the chick have now begun to develop. Day nine. Oh wait, no. We need to get this more fun. We were just reading it off boring. So let's start it off. Day nine! The chick is complete except for the feathers. Uh-huh. Okay, that's creeping me out. More importantly, the yeah. audience, so stop that. Yeah. Okay. Day 13. The embryo situates itself in the, in the shell, so its head is by the air cell at the large end, large end of the egg. Day 15. The body is covered with down feathers. The egg tooth is formed. The feet now have toenails. Day 18. Great. It's freedom! freedom! They get to flap and come out of their shell. Although they don't fly yet. No. Okay. That's time. So that's the end of our show, folks. Hope to see you next time on Wake Up! It's Marie. Okay. What are you doing? Well, I gotta go back to Uncle Bob. See you later. No, no, no. You know, wait, he's so old, he won't even notice you're gone. He's 57. Who cares? I still consider him old. Fine, I'm only staying here for 10 minutes. Okay, let's join us for the dance party. Dance party! Wait, yeah. wait, you forgot the music again. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Assistance! Turn the music on! See, it's now on! <laughs> do the light bulb! Do the light bulb! Do the disco! Do the disco! Uh -huh. <laughs> Bye, everybody! Bye! Go, Quails! Go, Quails! Go, Quails! I'm not doing go, that. Go, Quails! Oh, wait, I forgot my luggage. I gotta go grab it.